We're going to tie a leech pattern that has killed it the last two fishing trips for us. Check it out. Fly, fish, food, 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 food. Okay, this little leech pattern is responsible for Brandon's big brook trout that you saw. It's been responsible for many, many cutthroat that we've caught at our local reservoir without a name named Strawberry. Um, but pretty much anywhere we fish this, it's produced. Um, and Lance kind of showed this, this uh, pattern to us. So he's busy downstairs helping customers, so we're gonna tie it. And I'm gonna take credit for it. This is called Cheech's favorite leech that he invented and Lance didn't. So first things first, you're gonna have a jig hook with a black bead. Uh, I'm sure you could mix up the colors of the bead, but we found that with a black bead it works best. Um, this is a size eight with a four mil bead and I'm just going to tie on some 140 denier thread And the key for, for the ones I've been tying is black woolly bugger marabou or premium bugger boo from Nature Spirit. As you can see, it's really, really flowy and it moves great in the water. Um, so I'm just gonna pull off a chunk of this marabou. And I want the tail to be relatively long um, just so it has a lot of movement. The only thing about this fly when you fish it, you'll you'll want to make sure that the marabou stays nice and uh, not fouled around the hook. Uh, but even if it does foul around the hook, it'll still work. Lance just walked up the stairs, so I better take all that stuff back. <laughs> all right, so standard leech marabou tail, easy for the body. This stuff is amazing. John Romer, whatever he's putting in this stuff, the Arizona Diamond Dub in black red. It is awesome. So, if, as you can see with this dubbing, it's got a lot of translucence. The, the red in it, I don't know what he's using for the red fibers, but they're like mini fiber optic cables. But that's gonna be the rest of the fly. We're just gonna take a dubbing loop Where's my dubbing loop tool? So I'm gonna make a dubbing loop out of my thread, close it off, and then the reason why I have the corner of the bag cut off is if I just grab little bits at a time of this dubbing, it will come out of the bag, let me show you, it'll come out of the bag kind of all lined up just like that, kind of all facing the same direction. So I've done that with a few clumps and as you can see it's a nice um, full dubbing loop. Looks like we picked out all the fibers to face the same way. So just twist that up And before I wrap this forward, I'm just going to come in here with a little dubbing brush and pick it out. You should be able to see those nice red fibers here. And then I'm just going to rotary style wrap this. So I'm just going to grab the thread with my pinky and hold the loop directly above it and just wrap that forward. like that and you can do these as sparse or as full as you want this is about the makeup of the fly that's been working for me lately a little bit buggy all right we're not done yet this is critical brush it out all right that's the fly fish it on your point fly on your Mitch tip. <laughs>